tibial internal rotation. So grasping at the mid slash hind foot with the right arm. And then with the left arm, you're coming in and locking it in. You're going to first go 30 seconds into in actively trying to come out of the internally rotated position with the foot, holding strong with the arms. Gradually ramping up over 30 seconds to your safest, greatest contraction, whatever that may be for you. And then you're going to actively, after that 30 seconds, your, your phase two here is you're going to actively try to get the tibia to internally rotate. As if your ankle and your foot and your leg are now playing along, assisting your hands at getting that internal rotation. Great. And then if you were going to reverse it and we we're going to do external rotation... Okay, in tibial external rotation, know that the hands are reversed, where the left hand comes in, pulls on the, the mid slash hind foot, arm bar with the right, and phase one, you're going to actively try and push into the hand, so you're going to try and create internal tibial internal rotation, 30 seconds, max contraction, 30 seconds, and then... Phase two, yeah, ex you're going to vigorously work with whatever tissue wants to play along, trying to get your tibia and your foot to, to wing out to the side. And this subtle tibial internal and external rotation allow for better mechanics in the sagittal plane of the knee, flexion and extension.